Hello, recently I've been learning how to use the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express with Circuit Python. So I can program this microcontroller with Python. And the Circuit Playground Express has an accelerometer on it, and I'm using that here to control the initial velocity of balls that launch in a 3D animation. Let's see how this works. Here's the Python program that runs on the Circuit Playground Express. It uses a convenient Adafruit library to get the acceleration inside this loop and splits it into the XYZ parts and then prints those to the serial port. And they're collected by the server program running on the laptop computer here. That program looks like this. It is a web app uh, implemented using the Flask web app framework. And the web app delivers the JavaScript for the sketch that has the animation and also provides a way for that JavaScript program to call back in and get the acceleration values as fast as it needs them. So right now it's doing, it's launching uh, a ball every 0 0.3 seconds, I believe. And that's how often that JavaScript code calls this uh, Excel uh, API. Okay, let's start at the top here. So we have Flask, we have threading because we do multiple threads. This list keeps the latest accelerometer values. And this function using PySerial accesses the serial port connected to the Circuit Playground Express and uses its uh, read line function, the read line function of, of the serial object to get a, the line that we printed here. So here in the code.py we printed x, y, and z. And here we're splitting and turning them into floats and then making a list of that. So this is a list of the latest accelerometer values. This creates the thread using this function, and this starts the thread. This creates the Flask web app, and these decorators say that this is the home page, if you like, and then this is the API um, endpoint to get the acceleration, uh, the accelerometer values. And this render template renders this index.html here that just produces the p5.js sketch. And let's look now at the sketch.js. It contains a class for the ball, which using some physics modeling makes a ball animated. It has a position, velocity, acceleration uh, due to gravity. There's nothing about wind resistance. Uh, so we won't, we won't look at the details of that. It's just drawn using a sphere. Here is the setup and draw functions for the sketch, the main part of the sketch. And we draw each ball, we update and draw each ball. And then when it's time to launch the next ball, now we need to know the acceleration, the accelerometer values. How is the CPE, Circuit Playground Express, positioned in space at that, at that time? So we use this JavaScript feature called fetch which does a fetch to that endpoint and then gets the response and turns it into JSON. Uh, or actually, re it is JSON, so it retrieves it via a JSON mechanism um, and then and turns it into an object here in the JavaScript code, uh, which becomes this Excel object here. And then we create a new ball and we create a vector and we take the X, Y, and Z parts out of that Excel array and create a vector with them. Um, okay, I think those are all the parts. The code is on GitHub, and I'll put the link to it in the video description. See you next time.